Mutu ani dzaba liku online hobeda mbala ba kuvali ba njio. Once again, we welcome those online. Ambie today, mutu ba ani zene ngale zama. Tuani zaba liku ready yoku bana ba kuvali ba njio dala. We also welcome those listening over the radio. And also welcome yourself. I am not going to preach. I want to share my hunger in Christ. So this is not preaching, but it is sharing. On the 26th of June, we shall have such a day again. We want to utilize every last Saturday of the month even July we shall do the same thing if you can set apart those days we by July we shall be knowing how August and September will be there are just a few words that I have the issue of worshipping God. Worshipping God is falling in love with God. God is a mystery. God is a mystery. God is far away but he is near once he opens up to you. He is far away for some but he is very close if he opens up himself to you. God is a mystery, a hidden mystery. But he is very close if he reveals himself to you. He says, I love those who love me and those who diligently seek me, they will find me. That is in Proverbs 8, 17. I love those who love me and those who diligently seek me they will find me. The Lord is a hidden mystery. But he is very close if he decides to reveal himself to you. You can search for something that is near you but when you aren't able to see it. I'll give you the number of our sister Hega. Agali. Our sister Hega. Akava inyonte gena kumuta ne mutabaniwe. She was weeping when the thirst was going to kill her and that son. Nenga wakabira alikuluzirwe nyini nenga tarulaba. She was crying where, where there was a spring but she wasn't able to see it. Gachali chitwala guru. It would cost the heaven to send an angel to tell 
to go to her rescue. That where she is crying from, there is a spirit. Christ is a mystery. It is far away. But also very close. If he reveals or opens up himself. When Abraham was sacrificing the son. There was a ship somewhere in the neighborhood, but he couldn't see it. He never saw it. And he determined to sacrifice the son. When he passed that test, the Lord told him, Abraham, I've discovered that you love me. Don't sacrifice your son. Get that ship. That implies the ship was around. But Abraham couldn't see it. It took God to unveil. Worship. Just as the first preacher said. It is not that wonderful voice. We have very many who have the wonderful voice. It is not the many dancing strokes. We have so many dancers. If you dance when it's a revelation unto you, that is good. It is very good. But if you just dance for the sake, it has no meaning. The revelation you get amidst the songs is the most important. Falling in love with God is a very important issue. This is not about knowing the written. Many have got out of the Bible colleges. And they have a lot of theory. The Lord exceeds that level of knowing who wrote the book, what, the mean, what this means in this language, in Hebrew, in Latin, and all this. When you change it this side, it means this. He's greater than all that. All those are good. Katonda. Katonda. But God is a hidden mystery. You can tell him that according to Luke 24, 45, Lord, open my wisdom. Wow. Luke 24, 45, it says, and then he opened their wisdom to understand the scriptures. Always yearn. When it's not to the multitude. When it is personal. Always yearn. To get a revelation in each and every service. I have been crying. I have made so far three handkerchiefs wet. When my heart is being torn asunder, and then it comes closer again, and then it bursts out again. There is a time I was weeping and I was feeling as if my heart is being taken out. I have been seeing the feet that are in our midst. And I was wondering, what does that mean? Christ can decide that of his parts, he shows you only one part.
Every time I've been closing my eyes, I was seeing the feet. When I opened my feet to see them, they disappear. Let's go to Matthew 26. As we desire to fall in love with the Lord. In the physical life, the men know how to fall in love with the women. Even the women fall in love with the men. Is that true or false? And even there are those who are unlovable. You love them when they don't love you. I'm, I'm talking about those who fall in love with one another. It seems I only have angels here. Ask your neighbor, have you ever fallen in love? For the Bible says, Your creator is your husband. Just as we may fall in love with the women, no mukazi with a woman and even a woman falls in love with a man even if it's raining when you have an appointment you don't see the rain is that true or false is it true or false that love in the physical world is the simple example regarding the spiritual to fall in love with Christ. Today, there is someone who is going to continue falling in love with Christ. I've said today, there is someone who is going to fall in love with Christ. When we go to verse 7, it talks about this woman. She had some experience regarding the physical life. And that is what she transferred to the spiritual side. And you surprised why the halots. The Bible repeatedly talks about them. For example, Ahab the adulterer. Do you see that in the book of the halots is there? And even when you come to the lineage of those who birthed Christ, he's there. Like this one, we are going to read about. These women, these women have a picture of what falling in love means. You can fall in love with the Lord. Brethren, God has love. You've desired to be loved people, but they will not reach where you will be content with their love. No one will love you and you become content. Today they will come with words that exalt you and tomorrow they will come with a bomb. But we've got Christ. He has words that remain the same in every situation. You've got Christ. Let's 
Let's all look at verse 7. What did this woman do? He came to she came to him. Mnyambe kona akola atia na jajal. She came to him. Katu mukazi mudiye wakubanga ebi ebi agua. Take away the woman because hers came to an end. Go over we take away. Place yourself. Same fuma na akola atia na jajal. And then same fuma came to him. Where are we going to go again? Jajal. Consider yourself going to him. And after coming to Jesus, there is something else she had. The Bible says she had a bottle. In Africa, we don't have that culture of having that kind of bottle. But the Israelites have it. It is given to a girl or a boy who was made 12 years of age. The parents are the ones who give it to him. And it is very costly. They have the anointing or the oil of the kings, the priests, and the one that is used for frying. Is. And the oil that we smear. To them, they use it as cooking oil. Ask your neighbor, did you come with your bottle or you never came with it? That one that is used by the kings Nebakabona. and the priests Noku, and to give to the children. It was very precious. There there is some man who passed away. He came for my ordination ceremony and brought a small bottle for me. It was very small like this. But when you put a drop on yourself, it spends an entire week. It had a very good scent. So this woman, she had that bottle that was given to her during her youth age. The parents give it to the girl. And they tell her it's a sign of your virginity. Keep it. You will pour it down on the feet of the man you will have decided to give to your body. And that oil is very precious. You can read about it. You can read it in the book of Numbers 18 from verse 12 and the following verses. It was called the first oil. The Lord desires the first thing. It was very precious. This is what this woman had. She had hidden it because it was the treasure she had. The scriptures say that maybe in the journey she failed and she became a harlot. But what she would always hide was the bottle. The bottle. Every time she was betrothed by a man, when she desired to show the man that I'm not badly off, she would bring out the bottle. After playing on your mind, she, uh, she, opened, she doesn't open it and she hides it. She would tell the man that she's still a virgin, yet she already lost her virginity. She no longer has the goat, but she's an elephant. Turn to your neighbor. Ask your neighbor, do you move with a goat or with an elephant? That, this one was no longer moving with a goat. But the bottle was her selling point. I am not badly off. What is it? 
to them, once they see the bottle, it is enough for them. I'm still okay. She would detooth the men because of the bottle. One day, she came and met this man we talk about. I don't wonder whether she heard his words. I wonder what she had. And something began being broken inside her. And she saw her nakedness. And she came to Jesus. This time round, she came with something she had clung on for some time. She got a revelation of understanding who Christ is. She came with her bottle. When, when she reached where he was, the scriptures say, she bowed down. Something was scratching her. It was moving around. She was being crushed down. She was melting. She was being consumed. All her beauty was going down. When she began being crushed down, herself, while crying, she got hold of the bottle. Herself, she opened the bottle. And she was on the feet. She got hold of the bottle. And she poured it on the feet of Jesus. She was there pouring down all her treasures. And she felt that wasn't enough. She brought out her hair. They have very long no hair. They even have know how to get business out of it. They cut it off and then they need several things out of it. And one of the owner of the woman is the hair. She was laying down at the feet of Jesus. And she was embracing the feet. She got the hair and was wiping there. And Jesus put there the feet. So that this woman pours out her heart. Muruka. In Luke, chapter 7, Jesus told Peter, 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 let us go there and we see. Luke chapter 7, verse 36 is very important. But I want to reserve some time for you. We want to go to the feet of our friend. I desire to go to the feet of my friend. Are you there? Are you already there? Are you already there? Na ingira mnyumba yomu falisa yoyo na tula kumere. Kale raba, umukazi yali mchivu gomo, yali nebibi. Boya manya anga tude kumere mnyumba yomu falisa yoyo. Na lete chupe ya mafuta agomu gavu. Na imirira emira na miro kubigerebi nga akawa. Na atanulo kumutu onyeza maziga kubigerebi. Na visangula nevili ezo kumutu egwe. Na nyue gerebi gerebi na visiga mafuta agu. Hmm? Aumfali sayo ya muita wa yalaba na yogira mundaye Nti omuto ono singaba denna bi Yani teke domu kaza mkwata kubu wali Elabu wafana na ngali nebibi Rana, yesu nadamu na mugamba Nti simoni, ndiko chenja galo kubu ulira Chichi Na agama tomu igiliza yogira Walu wa muto ya wolanga na ya lina baba njaba bili Omunga abanji wedinari vitano, nomu la latano. Awebali inga tebali na cha kumusa sula, na abaso nyuwa bombi. Kale kwa abo, alisingo kumuaga la aluwa. Simoni na damu na agamba nti, ndo ozoyo. Boya singo kuso nyuwe nyingi, na mugamba nti osaze bulu unji. 
Nacho kilo mkazoyo na gamba Simoni nti olavo mkazono Nyingi de mnyumba yo noto mpa maziga vigerebi ange Na yonu ato nyeziza maziga geku vigerebi ange Na avisimu ze vilize Tonyuegede gwe na yonu Njagalo saze kagamba konga yesu anenya Simoni Underline that part when Jesus was rebuking Simon. Simon, Nazida, Munyumbayo. Simon, I already Naye came into your house, gede. but you haven't kissed me. Do you know the importance Chiangu of this word? It is very easy for the presence of God to be in a service. But, but look at this one. He has not embraced me. Was Peter in that house? Does Jesus point at him saying that you've embraced me? He says you haven't kissed or embraced me. But to this woman has kissed me or embraced me. I love those who love me. And those who diligently seek me. Gene kunyulana mweta na Buganda. Mbadde nsaba otwalo mutima gwa Yesu mbya wandiki wabi. I request you to take the heart of Jesus in these scriptures. Changu nyo kubera mu service. It is very easy for you to be part of the service. And you remain just looking around. Yesu nagamba lavono. And then Jesus says, look at this one. Tanyuegede. You haven't been in the same service. He says, but look at this other one. Tanyuegede. This one has embraced Wandi me. Kakano. Write down this. Worship is not for the many. Chom. It is individual or personal. The same scripture may be applicable today. How many groups of people? How many people are there? He says to one that you have embraced me and you have not embraced me. I am afraid of God. In our relationship with him, you may be on the same bed. One feels the presence of God and another feels the presence of the hates. I re-echo. I re-echo this. The things concerning our creator. They are individual. Two may be on the same bed. One gets a visitation of heaven and another is visited by the heads. Two will be on one bed and I will take one. The one at that level falling in love with me is the one I take and I know that person. At times God goes above and he crashes down my heart and I tell him my lover take me away from here it is very tough take me away from here it's very hard the earth or the world isn't easy and you feel it is beyond what you can handle you haven't embraced me. Can Jesus tell you that? Can Jesus tell us that? Close your eyes for a while.
This is not to the crowd. This time round, it is not to command you that standard. But I want you to accept him to lead you of what is to do to be done next. You will be free to lay prostrate and you are free to kneel down as long as you touch his feet. You are free to remain seated as long as you touch his feet. You are free to even stand. Allow him to direct you this time. As the instrumentalists come and take their position. Permit him. This is not to the crowd. It isn't to the crowd. It is to a man and woman to fall in love.
Gambo yes, kia gambi ya petero Na kaingira wanotona wakunyuegera We wale, we wale, we wale, we wale, we wale, chigambecho Na kaingira wanopetero, tona wakunyuegera Na yomu kazo na wenda nyuegende, tana wakumfa Kumigerebi ange Randa rabase Te voy a hacer, te voy a hacer, te voy a hacer. 
La luca, la luca, ma so da mokama. Mokama, ma tu te vas sobre la cuña gala. Guayizo, cuña gale, viandela. Avant tu vas chuca. Guamo mokuano, guamo mokuano, guamo mokuano. Namo a ver, les cubios, mamo sabe.
Zenda wano na yobu enda tona wakunyu engera Petero nkufuna anecho Mbogena maso gena kweba za Mbouli langa taina luhimba gena na kweba za Mbouli langa luhimbo lukwako gena na kusinza Mbouli langa luhimbo lukwako gena na kutendeleza Na yetu wa sirika
Chechi atulese Chechi atulese tukwe kubigerebye Kubigerebye wali wa magesi Kubigerebye wali wa ulamu Omukazi ya kwawo Omukazi ya kwawo Nai wai wo mutima kwe Nai wa we byo bugagabye Nai wa we mvirize Nai wa wo bunafuwe Yesu namulangirira ko Namugamba Petero Nabo mukazi ono cyakoze Siyo mukuba igirizwa bange Nera bajankoze Mukamaya ina future yo. Mukamaya ina future yo. Mukamaya ina musajiyo. Mukamaya ina mukasi yo. Mukamaya ina mukaga yo. Mukamba chimu. Kuluwa magenda gange na wona, na wona, na wona, na wona, na wona, na wona. Mugambe yogera, 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 yogera ye chigambo chimu Future yange neterera Yogera ye chigambo chimu Ebi ya mfuna zanga bina chuka Kundi kwe yongera kunjara yone nyota
katonda chikutwe miyako
Nyambe mukama leka tuwanyi somo tima Njagala kuwanyi somo tima nawe Okwange kunta wanya
Bamekango ya gala yesu no mtima gogo na Mugambe yesu, yesu. Dobozi dene yesu. yesu Gwenambe muwange Gwenambe muwange Ochikakasa Are you sure of that? Engaro na endulunga biya mkwano kwa foyo We want to conclude. Take a mikono mbanga. Lift up your hands. Mkole nti Yesu. Jesus. Dobozi dene Yesu. Yesu. Jesus. Njagala nkwa gale. I desire to love you. Dobozi dene njagala nkwa gale. I desire to love you. Loza alua lozi nabagala alua. Yotu inyi imba bibi. Let us get to something. Take him to Jesus. 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 When you bless me, I desire to be a blessing to this ministry. To this ministry, to this ministry. Let the spiritual rain fall upon me in the name of Jesus.
Tegeza kidemune dobozi denenti Marobozi goka Jolly. Come on. 